Hello there everybody, Sam's Trains here, welcome back to the railway and welcome back to Sam's Trains Live. This is epic, I mean I just love doing these live streams so it's fantastic that I'm back doing them again. Uh, welcome, welcome to everybody, I hope you're all doing okay. This particular series is going to be on selected Sundays sort of over the next summer, well the next, what am I saying here, four months or something like that. So if you are interested in when they are, if you particularly care, um, check my Twitter or my Facebook or social media and you can find find out when the various streams are. So it's a new series today specifically. I've got lots of requests. I'm going to be running lots of trains live. I do have an unboxing to do and it's a bit of a first for me actually, funnily enough. So that should be fun. I will of course be introducing the new giveaway and I will be exposing the first liar. Yes, I said I was going to. It's not something I'm going to take great pleasure in, but it is something that needs to be done. However, how are you guys doing? Oh, I've just seen a super chat. Thank you so much for the super chat so far, folks. There have been a lot. Uh, Mayo Hosko has just popped up. Hey, Sam. This is a request, I'm guessing. Mallard and the Airfix Royal Scott. <sighs> that Airfix Royal Scott, man. I need, to, I need to get rid of that because Mayo keeps asking for it. No, not really. That's not very nice, is it? I shouldn't get rid of it. Um, pulling the egg vans, <laughs> Warwells, Prime Port vans, the railgun with an LNER brake. Please buy Santa Fe coaches, Sam. So just just a tiny request from Mayo there. Just you know, a loco and a couple of little little bits and bobs there. Yikes! That's kind of that's a, that's a crazy request, Mayo. Thank you for for the stress that that is going to bring. Anyway, how is everybody doing? Uh, Glamrock Glamrock Freddy's says he's good. That's great. Anyone wants a shout out? You drop in and I will do that. Sealy Mainline, I saw you in the chat. We were talking before the stream, so good to see you. KHR Railways, yes, you can have a shout out. Eben Muddle. Yes, you sure can. Uh, Sam, my birthday is tomorrow, says Doncaster Studios. It says my birthday is tomorrow. Um, I'd, unless my parents told me a lie, uh, I don't think that's true. My birthday was back in February. But if it's, if it's your birthday tomorrow, Doncaster Studios, then have a great day. Hope you do. Uh, me, on. thank you so much. Could you run Backman James pulling LBSC four-wheeled coaches, please? No problem. Yes, that is very kind. Thank you, Meet On, for your very, very kind support. King Ori's there. It's good to see the King, King of the Railways there. I'm glad you're doing well. Charlie Kellaway, hello to you. Akua Kuman says, you are cool. <laughs> I don't hear that very often, I must say, so that is nice. Thank you. Stephen Bat, thank you very, very much. Oh, God, there's another crazy... I'll tell you what, this series is going to be just like the last one, isn't it? I can tell straight away. So Stephen Batt, uh, this is a request from hell to say the least. Could you run the derailing terrier with the Heldron 1361 pushing all seven egg vans between a queen, with a Queen Mary? Oh, between a Queen Mary, that sounds a bit uh, promiscuous. With a Queen Mary brake van on the back, on the middle line. On the middle line, okay. That's confused me, but sure, yeah, I can give that a try. Right, right, and of course there is a giveaway going on over this series, so I guess I should tell you about it, because I, I know you'll want to know. So, to say a huge thank you, a massive thank you to all of you kind supporters, I am giving away, as usual, three models at the end of the series. They are this brand new Backman Midland Railway brake van. It's uh, just a lovely piece of pre-grouping rolling stock. I do love that. The next one is a classic Hornby Packet. I give away a lot of these. Uh, it's brand new. Yet another lovely livery. Can't go wrong with the Packet. And of course, there is another tank engine. This time it's the legendary Hornby J50. Giving away a couple of these as well. Can't go wrong with them. Uh, one of Hornby's greatest tankers. Check out the description for more information and thank you so much again for all of your kind support with the live streams. And as so many people have already, if you'd like to have a request run, you just uh, super chat five pounds or the equivalent and you pick whatever you like. So any locos, any rolling stock, if it's possible, I will sure do it. 
And of course, if there are any birthdays in the house, if you've had a birthday over the past month or if you've got one coming up over the next few weeks, super chat for any amount and I will play the hellish birthday song for you. It's a horrible song and everybody hates it and you have the power to inflict that on everybody if it's your birthday, so feel free to do it. Sparky129, thank you so much. Just arrived. Welcome, welcome. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're on time for this train. I'd like to see the J70 and the E4 double heading with some teak coaches. <sighs> Sparky... Thank you for that. At last, we have a request that is that stands a cat's hell chance of actually staying on the track. So that I will look forward to, Sparky. Thank you for that. And Mega Train Lover, uh, hi, hello Sam, good to see you. It's good to see you as well. Thank you very much. Please, please could you run the Blue Merchant Navy with 20 mixed wagons and a Queen Mary brake van? That is another lovely request. Yes, totally. And the Queen Mary. That's a very popular request, isn't it? I wonder why. Everybody likes that. Anyway, anyway, are you ready? I'm going to do some requests. Uh, some of these are from, oh, just before we go. Um, Terence Priestley, thank you very much. He wants to see some great Western coaches with a whole class at either end, Eurostar style. I love that. That's a very cool request. Of course, Terence. Right, engineers requests the first lot. You're not going to believe this. It's a strange sight, I'll warn you now. Here it comes. Right. <laughs> so, I better explain, haven't I? Robert Osborne is the, the reason for the 08 conundrum going on here. So he wanted to see whether a double O gauge 08 shunter could haul the O gauge 08 shunter. <laughs> So it's a bit of an experiment to start with. This won't be able to run around the layout because I've actually got two war wells um, coupled up to this 08, which is on the inside line. And then there's like a, a postage box to support the 08. I haven't tried this yet. I haven't tried it, but we've got this little straight just here to find out whether or not a double O gauge 08 can haul an O gauge one. Well, <laughs> let's find out. I don't think it will. I really don't. I think there's a lot of friction here, but let's find out. Come on, Backman 08. Oh man. Well, that has showed me up, hasn't it? So I hope that satisfies <laughs> your curiosity, Robert. I'm going to stop there before it, it wipes out the lovely Merchant Navy. Backwards as well. Yeah, look at that. That's actually quite insane, isn't it? Because that weighs the best part of a kilo. We've got two war wells under there. I mean, yeah, that is really something, isn't it? This is the heaviest O-gauge loco I've got. <laughs> There you go, Robert. Well, I mean, it's a weird idea, but thank you for that because actually I've learned something very interesting there. So I will have to take this off now, get it out of the way. Tell you what, why don't we let, we can let the Backman 08 run around for a bit. What do you say? Yeah, we can do that. There we go. So at least I've got something for Robert running around as we do the requests. Let me just put the O gauge 08 out of the way. I don't really fancy that being on the floor for the rest of the stream. So let me just pop that somewhere safe on my O-Gage shelf, okay? And then I'll talk about the other requests that we have set up, ready to go, and I love this one. Uh, so on the outside line, we have Mega Train Lover, who wanted to see Campac with eight Mark I coaches, I think it was, in order to recreate the kind of train this loco would be hauling in the early 2000s. So that's awesome. Then we have Bobble Bunny, whose birthday's coming up, I believe. Um, LSWR T9 with Teeks with Bullman at the front, and he wanted me to call it the Bullman Flyer, I believe. <laughs> that is going to end badly. That, uh, that Bullman on the front of there. How many seconds do you think we've got? I predict 30. Someone calculate how long it actually does take <laughs> before Bullman comes a cropper. Right, I've, I, I'm aware that I've missed some very generous super chatters, so I will reload my list while they run. How's Bullman? Is Bullman? I can't actually see Bullman from where I am, but I, I can't hear any problems, so I'm guessing all is well. Wow, guys, thank you very much. So we have Dancing Turtle 96 who wants to see Backman Henry and a train of Mark 1 coaches and a Backman Edward banking. Ooh, that's a cool one. I wonder how that will go. Um, Tana Minor, oh, if it still runs, that's, that's, a, that's a, 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 it doesn't sound good, shall we put it that way, yeah, it's a, anyway, what's he saying? If it still runs, could you run the class 211 Voyager on the outside line? If it doesn't, then can we get one of your flying Scotsmans with five coaches? Well, as far as I know, it does, but I guess we're going to find out, aren't we? And then we have Captain slash Matt. <laughs> That's a cool username. Uh, there's a four instead of an A. That's cool. Um, looking forward to the stream. My good friend Mayo Hosko ah, introduced me to your channel, and I'm loving it. Thanks, Sam, for the content. That is very, very kind. Welcome aboard, Matt. And I, I guess I should be paying 
Mayo Hosco some of that commission, shouldn't I? And then Sparky129, another one before I go to bed. Oh, good night then, Sparky. Could you run the Blue Flying Scotsman pulling a long freight train with a southern brake van, making sure of no derailments? Okay, uh, Blue Scotsman, long. yeah, I mean, that, that all sounds pretty safe, if you ask me. So, yeah, I think there's a good chance that that will work without derailing. Although, having said that, when I do say that sort of thing, that is when the derailments happen, so we'll see. Then, oh yes, Redvers B. Could you please run an L1 with a rake of your choice? Do you mean the 440 L1? I really hope you do, because I love that. And then William Babcock wants to see both of the Blue Merchant Navies with 15 coaches. That is awesome, William. Thank you very much. I don't believe I've done that before. It will depend, I suppose, on whether the Merchant Navy because Campac doesn't have a front coupling, it depends whether or not um, the other one, the East Asiatic line, whatever it was, my favourite loco, it depends whether that one has the facility to have a front coupling put in or not. Hmm, not sure, but again, we'll find out. <laughs> I've got a very ominous, that's the word I was trying to find a minute ago, ominous feeling about that, yes. Right. Let's have one more lap with the Merchant Navy, just because I love it so much. Where's that 08 shunter? <laughs> I've not seen that in a while. Has anybody spotted it? Does anyone know whether it's actually still working? I'm not sure. Oh, I think I can see it. It's just there, look. <laughs> Has it? I think it's caught on a wire. Yes, it is. Silly wires. Okay. Ooh, it's my speaker wire, it's making everything crackle. <laughs> well, thank goodness. Thank goodness I spotted it. Otherwise, that could have been nasty. Then we have... Ooh, the Monster of Monsters. Interesting question. What is your favourite wagon or truck? Oh, I think it might still have to be the railgun, the, um, the Oxford one. Congratulations. Oh, Mark7188, thank you very much. Congratulations on your 100,000 subscribers. Keep up the great work. Oh, thank you very much, Mark. I do appreciate that. And then we have Vlad Copetti. Could you make a victory day train with a Battle of Britain class? Today, our 76 years since World War II ended. I had not realised that. Thank you for bringing that to my attention, Vlad, and thank you for the super chat. I'll totally do that for you. Turbulence music. Hi, Sam. I've got myself some new... Some... Sorry, some new stuff. A black LMS Royal Scot. Sorry, I'm just multitasking here, going to stop these locos. <laughs> and the 08. Sorry, I'll carry on reading this. Uh, LMS Black Royal Scot, that sounds really nice. Uh, can we get a Royal Scot with a large LMS rake going? Yes. Turbulence music, of course. Yes, I love the sound of that. We'll totally do it. Yeah, keep the requests coming in, folks. I really do love doing these. Uh, if I do run out, well, I think I'll, I'll probably already have run out of space to uh, get a request done today. But they will all, sorry, to get all of the requests done today. Uh, but they all will get done. If, uh, if I don't have time to do them all today, they'll be done in the next episode, whenever that is. Uh, so yeah, don't you worry about it. You keep as many coming as you like. Challenge me, you know, push me. I don't care. See how many you can get me to do. Uh, I'll gladly do them, because they're a lot of fun. Okay, well, I tell you what, Bullman has showed me up there, and I'm not complaining. Because <laughs> he's not derailed. How many laps do you reckon he did? Three? Four? No derailments. I've noticed of late, when I've put Bullman on the track in videos, he'll do like half a lap and derail immediately. Well, it turns out Bullman obviously likes the live streams because he did not do that today. <laughs> well, thank you for that one, Bullman. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, the Hornby T9. What an absolute legend that one is. I'm taking the everything off because I'm going to do the next round live. So, I, you know, I'm just being organised. I'm taking the stuff off so that it doesn't take forever to put it the, the next round back on. All right. Then we have the Duke of Rawsome. No request. Have a great one. Oh, bless you. Thank you very much, the Duke of Rawsome. Right. Let's see. What have we got next? What have we got next? People have been asking for this. And so, it is my great pleasure to bring you an unboxing today. Um, but it's not really me that's bringing you this unboxing. There's a friend of mine, I've given him some money, he's gone shopping. Uh, I'm sure you can guess who the friend is, but it's time to introduce him right now. So here he comes with a bonus, exclusive Sam's Trains Live unboxing. It is, of course, our old pal. I don't think I can say any more. I think that's covered it. L. Cheapo. I said 
much for cheap trains. Sometimes I review. It's apparently eligible. Thank you very much, Sam, for the warm welcome. It, it has been quite a while since I've been here. As you can see, uh, my facial hair has uh, sort of evolved, if you will, since the last time I saw you. It looks pretty good, I'm sure you'll, I'm sure you'll agree. I'm not sure why I'm laughing. It's a stylistic choice. It's pretty golden. But yes, you are right about that, Sam. I have been shopping and I have picked you up something that I hear you need. You've been, you've been on this channel for a long time and you don't actually own a proper caboose. Now, to be honest, I am El Cheapo, so the amount of money I have to buy a proper caboose is pretty limited, but I did manage to get Sam this. <laughs> so whether we can call this a proper caboose or not, we will wait and see. This didn't come from AliExpress or Wish.com or anywhere dodgy like that or anywhere nefarious. This actually came from Amazon and it cost me £14.84 of Sam's money. So actually, it's not that cheap. Sam's bought Oxford Rail uh, sort of brake vans and stuff that were very, very detailed for around that price. My ear hurts for some reason. Why might that be? I don't know. Um, so yeah, it, ooh, I can hear better now. I was just shutting off my hearing there. So yeah, how good this will be for £15? I don't know. It doesn't look that great, but it was quite expensive. So let's see. It's Mahano. Let me show you a close-up, if I can, of the box. It's Mahano. There it is. Canadian Pacific. So technically, it's not an American caboose. <laughs> yeah, it's looking good already, isn't it? Okay, come on, let's pull this out. I've had this for ages. Uh, okay, there's a, a label inside the box that says the 17th of October, 2006. How on earth is this still for sale if it's been made like f literally 15 years ago? I don't know. How, where did they come from? Nobody knows. Let's see. Okay. All right. It's all right, actually, you know. It looked worse inside the box. Now that it's out, it actually looks half decent. Right, shall we take a look? There we are, Canadian Pacific. I like, there's there's a fair bit of separately fitted work going on. You can see we've got the, the little brake wheel inside there, quite a lot of stuff going on with the roof, nice texture. Uh, there's a nice floor texture inside there. It's got bogies, so there are a lot of wheels on board, and they are, I'm pleased to say, nice metal wheels. Some of the Mahano stuff I've looked at uh, had sort of nasty plastic wheels. This one doesn't. Um, the weird thing is the European couplings. I mean, Canadian and American stuff doesn't have these couplings, and I don't think they're NEM, so... <laughs> Quite what I'm going to run this with, uh, quite what Sam's going to run this with, I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it's it's nice, actually, that is quite nice. Do you want um, old, old El Cheapo to pop this on the track? Oh, I guess we could give that a try. Uh, Gavin Ged, Ged Minters, thank you, thank you for that. I'll pass, I'll pass your uh, Super Chat info on to Sam. Just trying to see, I don't think there's any interior inside this, and there is no glazing or anything on the windows, but that could be normal. It also looks like it could be multi-storey. Is that a thing? Two-storey cabooses? Definitely looks like a, a loft conversion on top there. Anyway, let's just put it on the track, just make sure it actually rolls okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be running anything with a compatible coupling, so I can't test it right now, but... You guys will have to badger Sam to run it uh, next time, or I guess if someone requests it, I could <laughs> run it. Uh, yeah. It's all right. It's not dead. It's not dead free ro rolling. I don't think it would fare well on uh, the Gordon's Hill test. But for fifteen quid, I can now say I've got a caboose, and it doesn't look terrible. So <laughs> there you go, Sam. You now have a caboose, and it didn't cost you too much. There we go. What do you reckon, folks? Any good? Any good? Would you have been happy with that for fifteen pounds? Not <laughs> just keep catching sight of that moustache man good lord uh yeah it's, it's not the greatest bargain um but overall yeah it's it's all right isn't it yeah it's a bit awkward it hasn't got knuckle couplers king ori that's right isn't it most american stuff has easy or easy mate couplers or the kds it's all the same sort of thing nope that one does not so yeah like i say my american or slash canadian locos ain't gonna work with it but maybe i'll find a way to engineer some different couplings for it at some point. Owen oh, Bud, thank you very much, said Sam. Um, could you run the LMS Fowler 4P 264T with your choice of rolling stock? Owen, oh, yes, I can. No problem at all. Thank you so much. It's a cupola, the top part, says Tom McAdams. That that does not mean anything to me. I should, that's one to look up after the stream, I think. Cupola, interesting. 
Nice. Well, I will let Sam carry on with the live stream, I suppose. Uh, from me, El Cheapo, um, I think Sam's going to ask me to have a shave for next time because it's distracting me, so goodness knows what it's doing to everyone else. So, yeah, uh, yeah, that, that's it. It's a caboose, £15, Amazon. It's been El Cheapo. It's been a pleasure. I'll see you, so I'll see you soon. I found the Jeep train and I did review. It's apparently El Cheapo. Yeah, I don't often get the giggles <laughs> on live streams. But uh, yeah, apparently El Cheapo, I, I, I heard this from a friend, but apparently he lost his original moustache not long before the stream started and he had to he had to find an alternative in double quick time and uh, i'm not sure how he did it i'm not sure how it happened but he managed to grow on double quick <laughs> right i need to get the camera off me now otherwise i'm, I'm going to i'm going to spoil the rest of this stream so <laughs> so a2020 vision is the next requestee Ah, uh, composure. Who wanted to see a pecket? Oh God, I'm going to enjoy watching that later. Um, with a mega box, so that's an interesting. I'm guessing the idea there is, you know, the smallest loco with the largest piece of rolling stock. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Then we have D and D Scots, D and D Scot Scots, who wanted to see the Flying Scotsman with some Pullmans and some Blood and Custard coaches. So that's fine. I've got my trusty Flying Scotsman. Look, I've got like a slim coupling on the back now. I won't tell you how I got that coupling, but there's a video coming soon about... Well, actually there isn't. There isn't a video coming soon. I, I want to make a video about couplings and I've been experimenting. Yes, it's not like it's not a proper experiment video, obviously, because, well, it's couplings and they're dull. But, yeah, I have been looking into couplings. I've, I've tried, I mean, I'm rubbish at sort of creating stuff, but I've tried to design my own little coupling just for fun. And it does actually work. I mean, I think, are they going to be in the shops one day? No. But, you know, in my usual sort of slapdash manner, I think I've actually got a reasonably compelling coupling for a very, very specific use case. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, and then Lewis Buscarino wants to see the Merchant Navy in blue with some Pullmans. So actually, I've been silly there because I could have left the Merchant Navy on. But I guess it needed to be on the inside line, so it's not too silly. And of course, Scotsman's already got a couple of the Pullmans, so Merchant Navy is going to be a bit short, but hey, we'll just call this a very, very important person train. And there can't be that many important people, so I'm sure three coaches should be enough. And this is awkward. I should be moving Scotsman, really, because he's obstructing my hands a little bit, but that's all right. It's a good incentive to lose some weight in my hands. Is that a thing? Can you, is there anything you can do for that? I don't think so. What am I talking about? I don't know. Here we go. Peck it with the uh, mega box. It's a Backman mega box, so I'm hopeful that it won't derail all the time. <laughs> as opposed to the other brand of Megabox that I unfortunately own. There we go. Oh, peck it on the points. Peck it on the points. That sounds like a children's book. Okay, let's take a look. There we are. I'll read this, and I'll read some of the super chats. Uh, oh, we have WCGM Radio by Christian Mann. The CP caboose you have is actually a Pennsylvania Railway. Oh, wow, there's some information here for sure. N6B caboose in CP livery. My request is a candy-related mixed train, chocolate and cream cars, candy cars, you name it. Ooh, I'll have to see what I've got, Christian. <laughs> That's got me thinking. Good idea, thanks. Yeah, totally. Well, I'll, I'll do my best. Is it me or is everything going a bit quick this round? It seems to be. It's all right. Gives them a chance to stretch their legs, I suppose. There we go. Oh, yes. Oh, man. That, there's no train that does not look good with that Merchant Navy, I kid you not. Where is it? Oh, it's not on that line, is it? Pack it with the war, with the Warwell. <laughs> I'm just crowbarring the word Warwell into every video now, aren't I? No, with the Megabox. It's a cool word, isn't it, that Megabox? I always thought that was like a nickname for them, but no, it is actually what they're called. There we go, folks. Well... 
Thank you very much. Oh, wrong camera. That's an unflattering shot of my side there. <laughs> All right, okay. Let's bring these to a stop. Merchant Navy. Lovely job, thank you to you. I'm pretty sure the Merchant Navy is coming back later on in the stream, so we'll leave her on there. There's the packet with the lovely mega box. Should have put something in that mega box, really. That would have been fun. And there's the Scotsman going like a bat out of hell. Okay. There we go. So that's brilliant. Thank you very much for those requests. Interesting that the, the packet didn't cut out again, isn't it? It's quite strange. Uh, cut out, I suppose it just warmed up its pickups or something. But yeah, that was good. It worked pretty well. Right, where's my piece of paper? Right, I'm going to go away for a quick break. Don't go anywhere. I'm going to set up the next round of requests. And there's some cool stuff coming up. I'm not kidding. So I will see you very, very shortly, folks. Thank you for watching so far. I'll be back with you in just one second. Okay, folks, I am back. If you've only just joined, welcome back to you. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a good time so far. Still to come, lots more trains to run. I've got some wall of train. And uh, I guess if anybody gets a birthday super chat in there, you might have to enjoy that as well. However, don't forget, I've got the giveaway going on. I've got these three lovely models uh, going out to somebody on the final episode. So it's uh, still a while to go yet, but yeah, hopefully they will find good homes. I do know, by the way, I think I'm pretty sure all of the prizes have found from the last series, by the way, have found their way to the new homes. Um, some, I think it was the rolling stock didn't get claimed, so one person got two prizes. I think it was the runner-up actually got two of the rolling stock prizes. Go figure, I don't know. Uh, but yes, everything that got sent out, and I think all of that rolling stock went to America someplace. But yeah, I've, I've had emails and messages to say that they arrived safely, and I always love that. And so yeah, if, if you do enter the giveaway, yeah, if, send me pictures, if you win, of uh, the rolling stock or the locos or whatever on your railways, because that is always absolutely amazing, just to see where this stuff has ended up. Anyway, let's do some more. I haven't been really keeping up with the shout outs, so let's do that. Uh, who have we got in the chat? If you would like a shout out, totally get in there and I can do it for you. Eddie Halloween. I don't think I've seen Eddie Halloween here before. It says, what's up? Sorry about that. Was that offensive? I don't know. Anyway, what's up to you too? I'll say it in a very British way. Uh, you tell me which sounds best. <laughs> I think neither is probably the answer. Uh, could you run the Lilliput X625, says Fazana Anjum. Wow, I almost forgot about that little thing. That is a really cool little engine, isn't it? I need to, someone needs to request that. I, I'd love to run that one again. Uh, Backman Spencer, yeah, I could run. Oh, oh, there's Kelly Ashford, says Sam, I've joined in. Ah, oh, you almost missed it, Kelly. I'm glad to see you. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, T's Cottage Guy, yes, you can have a shout out. Hi, says Theo Hard. Hardacre. Thought that said hardcore for a second, but no, it is Hardacre. Uh, Hi Sam says Aaron GR Gaming or Gaming, I guess. I'm very good, thank you, Train Master 2004. How are you? Uh, hi T's. Oh, I've got people saying hi to T. Um, bought a flying Scotsman yesterday, says Kai Binch. Ooh, did you? You've got to have a Scotsman, haven't you? It's just one of those locos that everybody loves to own. Uh, smelly Bill 217 says, Hi Sam. Oh, I'm sure you're not too smelly. I hope not. I can't smell you, and you're pretty close. Uh, can I have a shout out, please? Says Sam Haslam. Yes, you can. Uh, Damon Albarn says he would love a first time shout out. Wow, really? I've never shouted you out before. Of course you can. There you go. Sorry I'm late. Can I have a shout out? Says Thomas Collector 5. Don't apologise for being late. You're here now. And that's the main thing. And yes, you can have a shout out. Uh, Hasib Khan. Yes, you can have one as well. Uh, Smelly Bill is back, apparently. I didn't realise you'd gone and come back in such a short time, Smelly Bill. That's crazy. Anyway, anyway, are you ready? Are you ready to do some more requests? These tired me out, man. I've been running around trying to get all this stuff together. So on the outside line, we have one from Rachel, 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 I'm not sure, D, uh, for her son, who is 10 years old and called Luke, who wanted to see the Tango with my rail guns. Initially, um, Luke wanted to see the GG1 with the rail guns, but I just, you know, in the heat of the moment, I could not think of a way to couple the GG1 to the rail guns, because the GG1 has got the knuckle couplers, this railgun has got slimline NEM. This railgun has got the European couplings, which are not NEM, so I can't replace them. I do have converter cars for the knuckle to the slimline NEM. 
Do I? I think I do have one of those, but not the other way around, so it was impossible. So anyway, to cut a long story short, even though I haven't cut it short and I've just waffled on for far too long about it, uh, we've got a tango there now as well, so we'll see how that goes. Then, William Town wanted to see the cheap and nasty flyer, basically with the cheapest loco and the cheapest possible rolling stock I can find. So I think I've done this a bit differently from the last time William asked for this. I've got the Mahano 040, which I think probably is the same loco, but this time I've got some of the Mahano rolling stock, which seriously cost like pence. It's crazy. So that one's going to be running there. And then, this is, oh, Brendan White has sort of got me with this one. Uh, Brendan White wanted to see Smokey Joe pushing the egg vans backwards. So we ain't going this way. Joe's going to be pushing them backwards. It's on the inside line, which is, you know, it's got fewer kinks than the other lines in terms of S bends and such, but uh, don't feel good about that at all. So let's see how this goes. The Tango and the Railguns, who knows, quite honestly. I think the Cheap and Nasty Express, as cheap and nasty as it is, does actually perform well. So whether or not it's going to today, I'm not sure. And there goes the five pole motor, Smokey Joe, <laughs> reversing with the egg vans. Let's have a look at this. I think that's the one to watch. Train spotting Devon and UK. Hey Sam, it's LaserJet899 on an uploading account. Ooh, you have an uploading account. That's cool. We'll have to check him out, folks. Or she. Uh, see, um, yeah, see what sort of stuff they upload. That sounds really good. Mega Train Lover, hi Sam, can you please run the Hornby Class 700? I don't have that Mega Train Lover, I'm sorry about it. Oh, do you mean the, I, I have the, um, the Drummond 700 class? For some reason I thought you meant that, uh, that modern 700 class. <laughs> so yes, I can do it, Mega Train Lover, sorry. Sort of a mental brainstorm there. With the World War I ambulance train, yes, no problem. Uh-oh. I made a mistake, folks. I don't think any of my cameras are going to get it. No. Uh, yeah, the railgun is probably facing the wrong way and it's cracked on the cabinet because, of course, it doesn't, it's not very respectful of the loading gauge. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I think we're okay, though. <laughs> oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, I think the rail, I think it will do it if it's facing the other way, but for some reason, yeah, there's something that sticks out more on one side than the other. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way. I, could, I think you can take the things off on the side, but mine seem quite stiff. So I've never really fancied trying to yank them off, but I guess I could try. And look at that, would you believe it? The egg vans are actually staying on. I, I, I was a bit, you know, I, I'm a bit of a coward. I didn't put all of them on. <laughs> so I guess it could have been... Could have been worse. But no, for now, that seems to be fine. Where is your favourite preserved steam railway? Mine is the Swanage Railway. It says Mi Un. Thank you again, Mi Un. That's a tricky question. I think my favourite would be one that I've never been to. I know that's a weird thing to say. I think it would be the Bluebell Railway because... The Bluebell? That's right, isn't it? Yeah, the one down south anyway because it's got so many of my favourite locos there. If it has to be one that I've visited, then I think the Great Central because it's so big and there's so much, kind of, so much to do there. And also, again, some of my favourite locos are there as well. So, yeah, I mean, whichever. I've given two answers. Uh, you pick one. <laughs> Could you do a double header between Backman Thomas Percy? Backman Thomas, OK, I see, yeah. Or Hornby. I forgot which you got. I only have the Hornby one, actually, yeah. Pulling a mix of trucks, fans and tankers. Says Percy, the little green engine. Yes, of course, Percy, I can run you for you. And I have my railgun stuck again. I didn't learn my lesson. <laughs> I forgot about it and let it do another lap. There we go. I'm going to stop it this time then, so that it doesn't end in disaster again. There we go. How did they not derail? I literally had to tip it sideways to get it past the cabinet, and it did not derail. Isn't that something? I don't know. Um, oh, Christian Man, thank you again. I'll send you a picture of the Wickham track inspection rail car I got from you. Oh, yeah, sure. Yes, it was you then, wasn't it, Christian? Yeah, that's right. Yes, and that went to America, didn't it, didn't it if, if I'm right? Yeah, please do. Yeah, and I'll, I'll show it in a live stream, <laughs> just to prove that I don't just, like, hide the giveaway items and pretend I've sent them out <laughs> or something. But, yeah, that's also... And now Whammy is WCGM. Yes, I did notice that, yes. That's, that threw me a little bit when I read out your name. Anyway, never mind. Yeah, thank you. Please do that. And Captain slash Matt. Hi, Sam. Could you wish Mayo... A belated birthday wish from the 30th of April. 
Yes, and that means, folks, <laughs> that means that the birthday song must play today. What are we waiting for? Oh, it's the cheap and nasty express. I'm kneeling here like a pillock, waiting for a train that's never to arrive. No, it's coming. Here it is. Okay. Well, shall I do it straight away? We don't want that looming over us for the rest of the stream. I think I'd better do it straight away. So, who is it for? It's for Mayo Hosko, who is a very, very loyal viewer, I must say. So, yes, no better person to ruin the stream for than Mayo Hosko with the birthday song. Happy train birthday to you. Happy train birthday to you. Happy train birthday. Happy train birthday. Happy train birthday. It's been a little while, hasn't it? Certainly since I, I, I'd forgotten how embarrassing that was. A lot of embarrassing things happen on these streams these days. I wonder why. Why do I do these things? Anyway, happy birthday, Mayo. I hope you have. I hope you had a fantastic day. It's kind of like ten days ago now, but either way, yeah. There's your belated happy birthday. For now, then, let's do some wall of train. Now, my sister's printer was acting up the other day, and I literally spent. I just thought, no, you little sod. You're not messing up anymore. So I spent half a day fixing the thing and I thought to make sure it's working, I'm going to print the Wall of Fame pictures for this stream on her printer uh, just to sort of, you know, give it a good run. And because my printer is you know, so much better, these don't look quite as the same as normal, but I'm not going to say they look worse because that would be me admitting I've not done a good job fixing the printer. But yeah, they look a little different, but they're still much appreciated. I feel like I might have showed some of these before. I don't know if I forgot to empty the folder, <laughs> the, the outgoing folder, because I normally sort of, once I've showed them, I move them into a different folder and then reload up the other folder with new ones. I'm blabbering on, but yeah, there's, there's a possibility that I've showed these before. Um, but I can't see them on the wall, so I don't know if I'm just dreaming. Leo, though, I do recognise that. That's the G... I forget now. G4 Daylight? Something like that. It's the Daylight, anyway. <laughs> what is it? That's really annoying me now. It's not a G4A, is it? G... No, I don't know. No, it doesn't matter too much. It's a nice engine, I'll put it that way. You can. I bet there'll be people in the chat. Uh, this next one I don't recognise. It's from Walter N. Thank you very much, Walter. I guess... I could hazard a guess at the brand. I think this is a Fleischmann engine. Right or wrong, I don't know, but that's my guess. And, yep, there's a dinosaur invasion and a, a golden eagle invasion as well. I guess birds are kind of like dinosaurs, so that, <laughs> that fits in. But yeah, I, I don't know what's happening at Walter's house, but I would advise just giving it a, a miss for a little while, at least until the dinosaurs have gone. Then we have Harry C who sent in this. I'm guessing this must be his fleet. Look at that, I can see a Peckett, it looks like some Pacifics. Oh, that back one doesn't look like, I wonder if that's a 9F. Can't quite tell what those are. Seriously though, some really top quality locos there by the looks of it. And Hamster, thank you very much, sent in $5. What is my favorite herbivore? <laughs> you know what, I would have trouble telling what animals were herbivores. Um, I suppose horses are quite nice, quite like horses. Horses, do horses eat meat? I've never seen a horse eat meat, so if that makes a horse a herbivore, then, then I would choose a I'm just thinking, if anyone's joining the stream just as I'm talking about that, they're going to leave straight away. Uh, yeah, I, okay, a horse, I suppose. Thank you, hamster. I, I guess it's not like a bad thing that I've not said hamster. Is that going to offend him? Hamsters are not herbivores, though. I'm pretty sure hamsters eat meat. Maybe that will let me off the hook. If I've offended any hamsters by saying that, I do apologise. And then, William Town, the Happy Train Birthday song, number one in Hell's Top Music Chart. <laughs> that's probably true. That's probably true. Anyway, Ash and Willow sent in this. Um, so thank you both so much for watching the channel, and I love your packet. And to be honest, I love your signal box a little bit more. That is one of the nicest signal boxes I think I've ever seen. Look at all the handrails and stuff on it. I know, I know, the Peckett is the star of the show, but I, I can't help, my, my eyes can't help but wander to that signal box. So yeah, thank you for sharing that. I loved seeing the Peckett, 
but that signal box kind of really made it for me. Right, here's an interesting one. Matthew C sent in this. Again, have I showed this before? I feel like I have. But Matthew C wanted some tips on what loco to run with this train. <laughs> I'm sure I've asked this before, but there we go. I mean, if anyone else was watching that wasn't watching the last time I said it, let Matthew know what trains to run. That's messing with my head now. Like, have I done this stream before? <laughs> I don't know. Then Yeet Plays sent in this. That's a lovely American loco of some description. And then we have Oliver W. This, I feel like this can't be right. I've got to have shown this before. Who, sh who managed to catch that bad crash on camera that time when all those wagons fell over? <laughs> so anyway, I mean, it's worth remembering that, I guess, isn't it? So yeah, thank you, Oliver, for that. That is the wall of train. And because the engineers, the chief mechanical engineers, get uh, requests as part of their membership package, I do have quite a lot of requests in from them already. And I'm smiling because there's some really cool stuff you're about to see. So here they come right now, the engineers requests. Here we go then with the first lot of beautiful requests from my engineers. Up first, this is a super cool one from Dancing Turtle 96 who wanted to see a P2 double heading with the A22, which is of course how the P2 eventually looked. So we've got two cock of the North Locos, <laughs> can't say that name without having a little laugh, uh, with a mixture of LNER and BR coaches, which we have going on right there. So awesome idea for a double header. It's a little bit precarious. Uh, it's a good job the two Locos actually run at a similar speed, but Touchwood seems to be working okay. Talk about precarious, there's another even more dodgy double header going on here from Mark7188 who wanted to see the Backman, Edward and James with a passenger train. And I say it's dodgy because the Backman Edward is not a very stable loco and having to push James and pull coaches, uh, yeah, yeah, a little bit awkward. Having said that, I mean, they're all right, aren't they? Seem okay? <laughs> For how long? It remains to be seen. But thank you very much to you two folks. Then we have Owen Dino Studios who wanted to see the Backman Thomas with the Backman Annie and Clarabel. Well, I still don't have those, unfortunately. So you've got the Backman Thomas with the Hornby Annie and Clarabel, who are not quite as good, but that's as close as I can get to your request, Owen Dino. But thank you very much for that anyway. All right, that's a nice start. What a lovely lot of requests. Well, it's a bit of deja vu up next because, amazingly, I've still got the P2 and the A2 slash 2 double heading, but this time it is for A double L, A L L. Thank you very much. Uh, you wanted to see them this time though with egg vans, five Pullmans, and Bullman <laughs> on the outside line. Actually, you didn't ask for that, but they've, they've turned out that way. Uh, yeah, it, again, we, we've got a lot of precarious requests coming out today, which is a bit concerning, but hopefully that is all fine. Then I have a request from Intrepid V, thank you very much Intrepid V, who wanted to see a sound loco with period rolling stock. So I've gone ahead with a castle class with the TTS sound of course, and that's got a big old train of Great Western coaches. And it just looks so, so good with them, doesn't it? So yes, Intrepid V, thank you for the opportunity to run such an awesome contest, I love it. And then we have a really awesome one from William Sutar, 1368, with something I don't think I've done before, but something I certainly should have done. Um, so he wanted to see both city class locos with a freight train. How strange. But as you can see, I mean, they're the same loco, so they work together really nicely. And they look pretty cool with a freight train. Uh, obviously, they must be pitching in for the war effort or something like that. Anyway, great, great ideas. Thank you very, very much for those. I'll warn you, this round is unlike any other you've ever seen. So the first request, this is crazy. I don't even know if this is fictitious or not. I don't know. Trainline 5000 came up with this. He wanted a, the snowplow, a Class 66 in Freightliner livery, a full brake coach in green, two RHTTs, another Class 66 in Freightliner, uh, and another snowplow. <laughs> what? It's, it's a very cool request. Very precarious because one of my Freightliner 66s is Lima and it's not the happiest runner in the world, shall we say, prone to derailment. But there it is for Trainline 5000. Then Duke of Rawsome for a 100,000 subscriber special. Thank you so much, Duke. Wanted to see the City of Truro double heading with a Great Western Dean Goods and 10 Great Western coaches, one for each 10,000 subscribers. So that's amazing. Not going to do this one for long, though, because he did want the Great Western Dean Goods, which, of course, is a very, very slow runner compared to City of Truro. So City of Truro is struggling a little bit there. 
Then we have Sparky129, thank you very, very much to you, who wanted to see the Garrett with a freight train and my largest brake van. And of course, that has to be the Queen Mary on the back there. So Trainline 5000, Duke of Rawson, Sparky129, thank you so much for those requests. Let's go back live. See, I told you they were pretty good, didn't I? So yes, thank you very, very, very much for all of those requests from the engineers. I tell you what, it's getting red hot up here. It's, I've not had a single hot day up here all year. And the first day that I'm running around like this, it gets super hot. Man, I do, I've actually bought a proper sort of cooler this year. It's like one of those bladeless fan things. I'm gonna have to switch it on at some point because uh, yeah, it is getting hot. Anyway, anyway, let's have one more round of requests, shall we? Um, yeah, again, there's, <laughs> there's, some, there's some dangerous stuff going on over here and I, I guess I'll have to show it to you. So we have William Babcock, thank you to you. You wanted to see the BT well tank double heading with the 1361 uh, with the egg vans. And I think you wanted it on the outside line as well. So <laughs> Yep, that's probably not going to go so well. The egg vans behave quite well on the inside. Not sure what's going to happen on the outside like that. The middle line is a bit more normal. I'm pretty happy with this one. This comes from Sideways66779, who wanted the H1 with my LBSC coaches, which are in a bit of a random order this time, but never mind. Yeah, that one is gorgeous. I love that one. And then we have Stephen Batt, who wanted to see the derailing terrier, which I've got right there with some egg vans, I've managed to dig out some more, there we go, uh, with the Queen Mary as well, and I think he wanted them being pushed as well, so yeah, it's gonna have to go this way. Again, that Queen Mary brake van is very, very heavy, so there's gonna be quite a lot of force in this train. I've got a bad feeling about it, that's for sure, but I guess I'll, I'll try. Right, I've started the double header, but nothing's happening. Oh, egg van. <laughs> Come on, please couple. Oh god, one of its coupling hooks is gone. Please couple. Oh god. Can you see what's happened? <laughs> it's crashed into the back of the train. And it's, yeah, you can just about see it over there. Instead of the back one not coupling, it's uncoupled, it's coupled, and then uncoupled the next one along. Well, oh, and now it's derailed. I can hear it. Where it, what, what, what? There we go. I think, is that all of the egg vans gone now? Yeah, it's just the two locos on their lonesome. Fair enough. The egg vans are now, you can't see it, but the rest of them, all three, are uncoupled, lying on their side across the third line. <laughs> Sorry, the middle line. <sighs> okay. <laughs> well, I've, I've had better starts, that's for sure. Where are the engines? I don't know. Oh, there they are. Well, thank you for that, you two. That's a real cock up, isn't it, to finish the day? I'm guessing I should just start again. Should we start again? Because <laughs> it's not exactly the most successful lap that's ever been done. Let's see. So the Helgen didn't start, and I had to like wiggle it to get it to go. Then one egg van derailed, sorry, uncoupled. Then two egg vans uncoupled. The remaining three went sideways over across the middle line. And the two locos, without any rolling stock, finished the lap. You just couldn't make it up, could you? Honestly. Come on, couple. Right, try again. I've swapped, I've flipped the back egg van around this time so that it's got a coupling hook on both couplings. Go on, for goodness sake. That coupling is really not right. Come on. There. Okay, try again. <laughs> Slower this time, I think. Okay, the H1, which I'm confident will not derail. And then the Terrier train, no idea what's gonna happen with that. Um, hopefully it will be okay on the inside line, but you never know. <laughs> Keep an eye on it for me, folks, because I need to read out the Super Chats. Let's take a look. Uh, I'm gonna have to refresh this because I know I can tell already there are people missing from this list. Egg vans at the top of Gordon's Hill. No, they're off. Oh, for goodness sake. Uh-oh, it's bad. Ah, oh, the H1's crashed. Ah, oh, that's just not <laughs> what I needed. Ah, oh, for goodness sake. Come on, you can't mess with the H1. 
that's a proper loco. And it, why does it always happen behind this darn bookcase where I can't get to it properly? Oh, I don't know. Right, egg van, just get out of the way. We'll leave the egg vans behind the bookcase, how about that? Fitting punishment. Right, I think the, the H1 is still on the track properly. Oh no, there's another egg van here, across the track. God, they're sneaky, they're devious things, I'll give them that. If I'd have started that H1 again, it would have gone about a foot and then crashed into another egg van that I hadn't spotted. Right. No. Something else. Oh, there's another one. There is another one in the way. I'm not kidding. Here it is. There's another egg van in the way, for goodness sake. Sorry about that H1. You shouldn't have to deal with that sort of thing. I am going to stamp on those egg vans one day. Anyway, let's, let's get back to the super chats. I apologise for the slight commotion there. Oh man, I'm tired running around over egg vans. It's like, who needs kids to chase when you've got egg vans? I don't know. Anyway, Colin Wikes, thank you so much. Before the stream, you donated. I appreciate that. A2020 Vision, thank you for you. I did do your request yet. Yeah. Hope you're having a great stream. Love to see the Flying Scotsman. That was from D&D &D Scots. Yes, I read that one out as well. Lewis Buscarino, Rachel D, George Botterini, William Town, William Babcock, AZ Rail, thank you very much. Brendan White, Lewis Hughes, thank you to Lewis. Sideway 66779, Mayo Hosco, I will do yours Mayo, I skipped past it for the live stream because there was too much to set up on the fly, but that will be done first thing next time, or some point during the next stream, so don't worry about that. Me on, same thing to you, Backman James pulling the four-wheeled coaches, yes I'll totally do that, uh, the H1 stole them from me this time, but again it will be done next time. Uh, Stephen Bat, thank you to you. Sparky129, I love your request, so I am looking forward to that one, Sparky. Thank you very much. Mega Train Lover, I love your Merchant Navy request too. Terence Priestley, Dancing Turtle96, Tanner Miner, I appreciate yours as well. The uh, Yeah, the Voyager. Yeah, we'll give that one a try for next time. Captain Matt, thank you to you. Sparky129 again. Redvers B, William Babcock, The Monster of Monsters, thank you for you. Uh, Mark 7188, Vlad Capetti, Turbulence Music, The Duke of Rawsome, Gavin Gedminters, thank you to you, Owen Budd, thank you very much, Kelly Ashford, um, two new videos await your viewing, last trains of the season, says Kelly, I did not see that super chat, yeah, go check out Kelly's channel folks if you want to see those videos, <laughs> Hamster is sending money for scones and jam. Thank you, Hamster. That will probably actually go towards scones and jam. That's a proper herbivore meal, isn't it, that? <laughs> Although, yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, vegetarian, at least. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, I'm not a vegetarian, by the way, but yeah, he, talk, he was talking about uh, herbivores earlier on. Christian Mann, thank you very much to you. Um, Kieran McGovern, I appreciate that one. Yeah, I love the B12, so that one's going to be great. Phoenix Kit Kat, don't know if I read yours out. Can I request the Bankman Duck with any great Western coaches? You sure can, no problem at all. <laughs> Kelly Ashford, Sam, how dare you ignore me? Well, I guess I ignored you twice because I didn't read that one out either, did I, at the time? <laughs> Sorry, Kelly. I'm not ignoring you, though. I've read you out now. Hopefully, she's still here to hear that. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, I did read Paul's, though, about the 8F. That's fine. Uh, William Tao, thank you again to you. Kelly Ashford, again. Thank you to you. Christian Mann, again. Train Spotting Devon and UK. Yep, I did read that one. Mega Train Lover, thank you very much. Me on again. Percy the Little Green Engine, Christian Mann, Captain Matt, Hamster, and William Town again. Thank you very much, folks. Right, well, I haven't been looking for a little while, but well, I can't actually see it. Oh, yeah, I can. Those egg vans on the inside line have behaved themselves really nicely. On both trains I've tried it with. It's like a, a crazy first, isn't it, that? Um, where are the Helgen and the BT Well Tank? I cannot see them anywhere. Can you? I mean, you guys will know because you'll have been watching them. I haven't. I've been reading names. Uh, they can't have disappeared. <laughs> where are they? Have they literally just vanished? Seriously, what? What? This is getting spooky. I still can't see them. I left them running right. I haven't just had another lapse. 
I, I don't know. I, 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 I'm lost. I'll have to go and look myself. <laughs> no. Like, have I just taken them off and forgotten? I'm pretty sure they carried on, did they not? Ooh, spooky. Oh, oh, I see them. Can you? They're just out of shot. The, the 1361 has derailed. Okay. <laughs> right. And somehow, its smoke box has come off. <laughs> it's derailed and dislodged its own smoke box. Okay. How? It wasn't going that fast. How can it have been so violently damaged? Ah, uh, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> I think I'm going to quit while I'm ahead with that one, folks. So thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the stream today. Uh, that last round was a bit of a, a surprise, actually. It was all going fairly well until then. But yeah, thanks for watching. Next week, I have a coach review. I don't think I've ever properly reviewed a coach before, so I'm really looking forward to that. Also, some more Model Railway news is coming as well. For now, though, thank you so much for your support with the live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you again to all of the super chatters, including Mitchell Cole. Almost missed you there, but I didn't. Can I please see a streamlined coronation double heading with the black five and eight LMS carriages? I don't know if I have eight. I think I might have eight LMS carriages. I will try. I will put all of my LMS coaches or eight LMS coaches on. I'll do my best. And thank you to you then, Mitchell. All right. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you very, very soon. All right. Cheers, folks. Have, well, enjoy the rest of the weekend. Hey folks, thank you all very, very much for tuning in for another episode of Sam's Trains Live. I really hope you enjoyed it. I'll be back with another episode very, very soon. But in the meantime, please enjoy the videos that I'll be posting on my channel till then. And I will see you all very soon. Thanks again for your support, folks, and take care of yourselves.